Too often in business, we find ourselves in a place where we are dealing with someone who is difficult, but we have to deal with them. So I'm going to give you a technique on how to deal with them today. So let's just get started. Hi, I'm David Chomad. If this is your first time joining me, then please like, comment, and subscribe down below if you're interested in growing your business. Too often in the workplace, we have to have difficult discussions. The people we have these discussions with want as much as we do for the interaction to be successful. There's got to be a way to help those people get to the finish line. So today, what I'd like to talk about is structuring your conversations with them to make sure that they can be as successful as possible. It's really very simple. This is a tool that you can use to structure the conversation in such a way that you are able to most effectively and perhaps most efficiently achieve the goals that you need to achieve. The key to being successful is to repeatedly stress to the other person that you only need two things from them. You need intention and you need a plan. If they have an intention and a plan, everything else is gravy and it can be done. So what do I mean by that? An intention is a first step. It should be a solid one. It should be show some sort of commitment. It's a way to show that you are serious about doing the business that we're talking about here. So when you're talking to the other person, you can say, look, I know there's a lot going on in your life. There's a lot of things going on. You have a lot of demands, but I want something from you that convinces me that you're serious. That's the intention piece. The second part is a plan. So often there's a problem with knowing where the end will be. For example, you may want to be paid immediately, but that may just not be possible. Key in negotiating is that your next offer in however you structure the plan or whatever else you're putting forward is one, it has to be something that you will accept because you never know, they might just say yes. And two, you need to offer them something that will prevent them from leaving the table. If you use those two things to help you formulate what the plan can be, you will achieve a successful resolution to whatever the negotiation is. There is a third part, it's part of the second, and that is you have to repeat your involvement with the plan on a fairly regular basis, depending on what the exact parameters are and what you're specifically discussing, it might be something that you return to with this other person once a month. It might be something you return to them once every two or three months. It might even be something that you do every week with them until you have the confidence that they are going to be able to commit and complete whatever the steps are that you've been talking about. So again, an intention, a plan, and then a thought of what the interval is through which you repeat the plan on a regular basis so that everybody knows what the parameters are. It often helps to put these things in writing, but that, my friends, will be the subject of another video for another time. You could look in the meantime at my forming form agreements if that might be of help to you. I hope these tips have helped you frame these difficult negotiations and discussions that you need to have, and I'll talk to you next time.